What's up mga kalabs traffic, it is day 17 of our 20 days challenge and today we're going to discuss what is tetanus. So unang una, tetanus is caused by a bacteria called Clostridium tetani. At yung pinuproduce na toxin ng bacteria na to, ay siya yung nagkikreate o nagkukos ng sakit na tetanus or na condition na tetanus. No? It is a myth that tetanus can be acquired through rusty objects. No? So hindi yan totoo, it's a myth and yung bacteria na Clostridium tetani ay gumagawa siya ng toxin. No? Yung toxin ang nagproproduce ng condition na tetanus. At yung Clostridium tetani ay soil born or dun siya namamalagi o dun yung habitat na sa soil. And yung pag-spread niya gumagawa siya ng mga spores. No? And if our animals or our livestock get exposed to this to the spores nagkaka-infection sila anong mga hayop ang common dito na nagkaka-tetanus so, yung scenario natin dito sa Pilipinas ay pinaka-common yung mga baboy o yung mga biik dahil kasama sa program ng pagkalaga ng baboy ay yung castration at saka sa sobrang talamak na ng malpractice no? yung mga ibang owner sila na mismo nagkakastrate neglecting the disinfection and the cleanliness prior to surgery. So, nangyayari nagkakastrate sila tapos hindi malinis yung paligid, walang tamang disinfection, yung sugat from the surgery gets infected. So, 3 days after ma-observe na na yung owner na they're manifesting tetanus na yung mga beek nila or yung mga piglets nila. And another is that from horses Horses are very susceptible to tetanus. Yung common na instances ay yung mga leg injury. Kasi yung mga horses, sensitive yan sa mga leg injuries. And if ever nag-neglect yung owner or indiscriminate yung howling, indiscriminate use, yung masusugatan yung paa ng horses, eh, nakalapak yun sa lupa. So, they tend to get infected with the plus regium tetanina bacteria and meron nangyayari din ito sa sheep, sa goat, sa cattle and but these are most common in pig and horses and it is less common in cats and dogs but they also get infected on rare occasions so once na yung plus regium tetanina ay nakagain na ng infection or nakagain na ng access or yung, yung bacteria ay nag na ng infection gumagawa sila ng neurotoxins na siya yung responsible sa manifestation ng lakjo or yung sohor stance so pag nangyari na ng ganito it's a mao difficult to treat so ano ba yung treatment ng tetanus so again ulitin ko treatment against tetanus is useless when it is already on a late, later part when the manifestations of the so horse stance or the lakjo hindi na natin matreat yung yung hayop so the key is prevention so prior to conduct a castration or any surgery you need to give the tetanus antitoxin no, to prevent the entrance of the or to prevent the infection of the clostridium tetanina bacteria so if ever what is the treatment the drug of choice against tetanus is penicillin. It is very potent against Clostridium tetani. And the antitoxin is useful only when it's in early state of infection. It is better given prior to surgery to avoid the infection of the Clostridium tetani in a bacteria. And another method is that the wound should be debride and cleaned and surgically exposed kasi yung mga tetanus na mga bacteria yung, clos, yung clostridium ay aerophobic so when they get exposed in air they die so they like the they like the environment na anaerobic so they thrive in without the presence of oxygen but if we debride and we clean the wound we expose the bacteria to oxygen and they die and then we can also give anti-inflammatory once the animal gets infected the incubation period ranges from 3 to 21 days but 
the most common is 10 days so again to tetanus is a very complicated disease in handling and the best treatment is always prevention so my advice to the farmers especially in the pig racers and horse lovers that if you conduct surgery we must first give a tetanus antitoxin and include in our management and care that we should regularly disinfect the premises of our livestock uh, pig pens na then or yung mga stables na then so we must include we must include in our program the disinfection to avoid this kind of disease so again tetanus caused by clostridium tetani it's a myth that it can be caused or it can be acquired from rust no? and the treatment and the drug of choice is penicillin and giving a bantitoxin and surgical debridement and exposure of the anaerobic environment of the wound and anti-inflammatory the most susceptible are the pigs and the horses and also it can happen in sheep, goats and cattle it is uncommon in dogs and cats but they also get infected on a rare occasion so thank you on your support for day 17 and I hope we can see each other on day 18 and as always glory to God